pre-training meal of a sandwich with Weight Watchers bread, fat-free Miracle Whip mustard, and deli roast turkey, and some low-fat cheese. What up, y'all? It's your boy Futuristic, recording in my chase. You needed me like Kobe, need a check on a three-peat. Like how my fans all need to rape the repeat. You like the keys, I don't see, girl, I'm Stevie. Touching you was easy, loving you was harder. Pleasing you was simple, things you never thought of. Doing, we could do them. Anytime another nigga get brought up, I ain't tripping. I know he ain't a problem. Don't nobody got drive like me. Speaking of drive, I got a ride I don't use. You can cruise, you'll never find nobody fly like me. Buzzing like a hive like me, deep as an IV. Anytime you want to grind on me, I'm in your bloodstream. Enough dreams to live, we don't got to sleep too often. You can doze on a plane all the trips i'm talking overseas wrong side of the street we crossing on the interstate little dinner day eat good we should rekindle the flame and every fire's gonna need wood right i gave you that until the morning had you screaming my name i'm off the chain like a pendant and you depending on somebody that's gonna give you the business after that wanna wrap up in the sheets have deep conversation i'm the one that you can call on the list you need me Work hard, but she still do the dishes. Treat her like that mom, cause she's so damn vicious. Anybody cross her, then they sleeping with the fishes. Oh, and I already know. You just really trying to put on a show. You be frontin' like you don't know. Everybody just assessing over you like Pokemon Go. And I'm there when you call. Every time you throw it to me, gotta catch them all. Feeling like a nigga hit the lotto. Yeah, you know I got you. They can never keep a nigga down like my name was El Chapo. Frontin' and I get it. Notice that you the type of girl that's all about our business. They lying to you, breaking your heart. I know it's a habit. Changing on you mad quick. Then they hit you up like you. you. I'm back from the gym Then I ran to Walmart because I had to pick up a few things which I'm going to show you guys here show you what I got I just got some more ground turkey these frozen snacks they're 100 cows I think but they're just good little cookie substitutes if you're, you need some carbs and you're craving something sweet. I love these. These are so good and you can only get them at Walmart. So got some of them. Got some whole grain brown rice. Some raspberries because I have strawberries and blueberries. And then I'm running low on egg whites. And um, I got some all May clear complexion facial wipes for traveling. I'm very, very hungry. I'm very tired, I'm very low blood sugar. So I'm gonna make myself a quick meal. Yay, I feel like every time I vlog, I'm like so drab. I always vlog when I'm dying of hunger. And I make myself a Chipotle bowl. I'm so excited. Yep. Hello everybody, <laughs> this is kind of a weird way to start a vlog. Today I went out, this is what I wore. So I'm wearing just a midi dress from Forever 21. It's got a slit in the back. I wear this dress very often because it's super comfy and I just like how long it goes down. I don't have to worry about my butt showing. This morning I had planned to get a pedicure done. I got my toes to match my nails. Um, and then after that we went to go get some brunch. I put up my 
YouTube video, my last Toronto vlog last night where I did an, an informative voiceover. It got really, really good feedback, so thank you. It actually made my day, it made me, yeah, it made me feel really good and excited to do more vlogs of that style. Of course, I always still get advice on how I should fix my form. That's kind of, it's, it's annoying, but I try to respond with positivity back and take it from a standpoint that they just don't understand what's going on. Um, and people love, like I do, like everyone really likes to give advice. So I try to just take it as a positive and that they're trying to share what they feel is their correct knowledge. Oftentimes it's, it comes from a point of misunderstanding. So like people will correct my squat thinking that the way that I'm holding the bar is wrong, but really in fact, I'm actually doing a low bar squat. And then they might comment like the bar is a bit uneven on my back. Um, and where, when I know that it's just because one of my shoulders is tight, so unfortunately it just is gonna be, a, it's gonna look a little off balance and yes, it might affect my squat, but at the end of the day, nobody is perfect and your form is gonna be perfect all the time. And I try to show what is really going on. So I don't do a set and like try to make it look as perfect as possible and like slow down the reps and do all this stuff because that's not how I train in real life. Like I train with some intensity. My end reps are gonna look sloppier. I'm gonna swing a little bit if I'm pushing myself because that's how I feel is the best way to make progress. I see a lot of women doing this. Women will often, in their vlogs, like they're doing their reps so slow and like they're hardly moving. They're almost like a statue and like, in reality, especially like you'll see men don't really train like this as often and it's because it's hard to get the same intensity and to reach a higher RP or a rate of perceived exertion to, hit, to go to failure that way because you're just so focused on making your form look as good as possible that you're not actually exerting yourself. So that's how I feel. It could be different, like maybe you do reach failure more often, but I do train a lot of women and I have noticed that the women who train like that, cause they see it, like they see it on vlogs. They're like, okay, that's how it looks. Like if I don't train this way, like they feel like they're gonna get judged in the gym and that someone's gonna come up to them and tell them, you're not, your form doesn't look good and like you should try slowing down the reps, you're doing all this and um, that's not to say your reps should be controlled, they definitely should um, and especially the first, say you're doing a set of 10, you want the first eight reps to be controlled and uh, you wanna exert yourself but they should still look pretty good and you should try to focus on your form for sure but at the last few reps if you have a little bit of swinging and you're kind of exerting yourself a little bit more um, and they the form does break down, maybe one side pulls a little faster than the other, or whatever, like that's okay, that's how, that's, in my experience, the women that shy away from that tend to not get the results. So they can be training for two years and I've, I've encountered this with my clients and they just aren't making progress. But then when I instill in them that like the form is gonna break down and like it is gonna be tough and like the last couple reps won't look perfect, then they start to see progress. So a lot of the time people are, they shy away and they're scared from exerting themselves because they don't wanna be judged by others. So in my vlogs, I definitely feel that. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, I can't post my squats. Or like, I'll just pretend I didn't do squats today and I won't even put them in the vlog because I know people aren't gonna understand my form and my body type. And it's like, it's like, oh, I have to explain this again. Like I feel like every single time if I do squats, I have to explain them and explain myself and it does get exhausting. So I definitely feel that as well, but I'm trying to lead an example and to post sets that aren't perfect all the time, just to show you guys that that's the way it is. No one is perfect and you do have to you do have to exert yourself and push yourself. So hopefully that inspires you guys to feel a little bit less self-conscious about your technique and how you're lifting. Like if you're controlling the weight as best as you can, it's better to exert yourself a little bit more than to make sure your form looks perfect because that's not the end goal. The end goal is to build muscle and to hit PRs every time in the gym. So if you're struggling to increase the weight, it could be that you're not pushing yourself enough. So. Yeah, hopefully that helps you guys. I kind of went on a rant out of nowhere. I wasn't even expecting to talk about this right now, but I'm glad that it kind of ended this way because my goal with my vlogs is to give takeaways. So I definitely agree, like in the comment section, people were saying like, oh, it's really refreshing to hear information in your vlogs because a lot of vlogs are just like daily life and everything, which I like those too, but I'm definitely the type of person who does 
like to learn something new so I can totally understand where you guys are coming from and I'd love to provide more of that content for you so if this is something that you enjoy definitely give me a thumbs up um it will help me know like that's what you enjoy although comments have been positive so I think it is like people do like it um so I'll probably do voiceovers hopefully every other workout and then maybe do music on over workout sometimes as well. Um, I'll try to do a balance of both and hopefully I can just provide a little tidbit of information in each of my vlogs because I'd really like for you guys to actually uh, have a takeaway from watching my videos. Um, so yeah, if I don't get a chance to thank you guys for watching then thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. I get so many opportunities through my YouTube um, just from working with like Gymshark and stuff like that. So everyone who watches my video, you mean a lot to me. Thank you. Um, you're, even if you don't realize you're indirectly supporting me and my lifestyle. So I do recognize that and I really appreciate it. Okay. I'm going to stop yelling at the camera now. All right. Bye. I love my tree. So I've edited, so I, <laughs> what can I talk? So I sent myself a picture to put on Instagram. I posted the picture on Instagram. Um, I replied to comments on Instagram because I'm trying to do that right away because otherwise I just don't ever get around to it. Um, even though I do read comments, just to let you know, I always read them. I cannot show you, since I can't show you the Forever 21, I'll show you the skirts that I got from Dynamite, how they look on. So this is the first one. I think I showed you guys either in the previous vlog or the one before that. Got kind of a slit up the side. It's really cute. And then skirt number two is a bit shorter and it's kind of got this drape wrap hemi thing. And there's a little bit of ruching then dust the back so it's longer in the back which I really like it will cover my butt the chipotle bowl looks kind of sad with no greens but instead I have green beans okay we still have some light sun setting and I am very sore from my last two workouts so I'm gonna go up in the hot tub sports bra forever 21 undies bun I'm ready isn't that nice and now I'm gonna watch the sunset and soak in the hot tub done in hot tub and now I need to sort my laundry I have to sort all of this hey everyone just in case you did not see or hear in my last video I'm just gonna play this again I'm not gonna re-record it so here is my new program. Hey everyone, so I wanna introduce a program that I just released, Intensive Max Glute Hypertrophy. It's the same one that Emily is running right now, so if you saw her um, post about it, then that's this program. Um, hers is obviously gonna be more customized to her, but um, this program is a generic kind of version. So um, I'm really excited to, that I released this finally. People have been asking for it for a long time. Um, so if you are interested, uh, you can just click and follow the link. Um, the link is uh, down below in the description um, and you can purchase it through my website. Uh, and all the details are kind of listed on the website here so you can give that a read through. And if you absolutely need to and you have any questions after purchase, you can email me. Um, 
But anyway, yeah, so I'm super excited about this program. Um, it's one that I've been running for myself the past year and every single client that has had goals of bringing up their glutes has run through this program with me, some for up to 12 weeks um, with adjustments as needed. So basically the cumulative results over the last year with my clients and with myself have just spoken volumes about the program. Here's Emily's progress in the past eight weeks, insane, hey? And then here's her, um, and then here's kind of my full glute progress over the years. And then this is just a few months after starting the program. The program is kind of a means for me to share my knowledge with you guys, provide you with something that you can one click buy um, so that you don't have to pay a lot of money for coaching because I know my coaching is expensive and plus all my spots are full. Um, so it's a way for, for me to share something with you guys and then also for you guys to support me as well. So if you enjoy the content that I put out here for free, um, you get something in return and um, it helps support me so that I can spend more time on YouTube rather than on coaching. So thanks guys, I really appreciate it.